Okay. Hello and welcome to day. What day is it of day school, guys? Can you remember? Day fifth. Day fifth. Is it day fifth? Yeah, the fifth day. And we already have seven, eight marbles. Whoa, you have eight marbles already? Yeah. Eduardo, how many marbles do you have in your class? Um, one or two. One or we two. Have eight. From games, um, because she was like, because you, you, whenever I go on a phone call, you're always I silent. Like, um, What's she going on a phone call for? Um, <laughs> no, because like somebody rings her. Oh, like, if I was teaching, like, whenever I go on TikTok, guys, you guys are always so quiet. So thanks. And she's like, she's like, I'm not gonna give you a tiny marble. I'm not gonna give you two tiny, right. not a middle marble. Uh -uh. I'm gonna give you a big marble. Oh my God. Because the big marble is fair. Big wow, uh, what's going on here? What's going on here? In the, the toilet. Here? In the toilet. Yeah, in the to what are you telling her to put things in the toilet for? Oh, Shall we put Eduardo in the toilet? No. Exactly. Ew! Yeah, sediment. Sedimentary. So it's three big ones. Igneous, sedimentary, and then amorphous. Oh, one one from school. And Amelia in the toilet. Amelia, Amelia in the toilet? Listen. Hey, guys, what's happening in. Two days. Wait, where's my toothbrush? Here. What's happening in two days? Yeah. Yes, do you want to see the poop? Well, in two days, you're going to see me measure. Wait. And you're going to have to come. Everyone down. in the comments is saying that you look so much older and grown up these days. <laughs> you like, it's my birthday. It's my birthday. It's my birthday. Sam and I are actually heading into uh, London. I'm wearing a black t-shirt because we're in this, um, I think I mentioned a while ago, this charity uh, Christmas single thing. Um, so it was like kind of uh, for a music video they were shooting as well. They're like being like rock and stuff like that. And I was like, a black t shirt? It's different to a white t shirt. You know, you wear. <laughs> what? Oh, toothbrush. Toothbrush. Right. Yeah, we're all working together. I like this. Your hugs though, because yeah. he, he only gives you like a few of them, right? Right, and right. then he just gives off on you. Yeah, he does actually. He does actually. Uh, dreadles, dreadles, excuse me, sorry, excuse me, sir, sir, excuse me. Hi, hi, thank you, thank you, thank you for this. Carry on. Girl, um, we had to do a thing where we had to like make a person and color it in, and I chose her to have orange hair, and then I put in like a bangle. Like, That's cute. JJ, you okay? Mommy. Yes. Yeah. Just put this one is better. Okay. So, so we'll put a sticker. We'll put a sticker on it. Okay. Can you please? I hear you. Okay. You just need to compete. I don't think it had anything to do with the carriage with Wardo. It didn't. I remember scraping it and then my skin was off. <laughs> You'll be fine. You'll survive. This is all it has. You know what Yeah. This is all it has. This is all the cards, isn't it? <laughs> What's that, buddy? All the cars? Yeah. Is there any cars left? <coughs> oh, thanks. Hello, Lassie Lulus. Hello, Lassie Lulus. What? What you to that? What? What do you want me to do with the white car? Throw it out? Yeah. Throw it in the bin? <laughs> come on, come on, come on. I know, buddy. Hop in. Oh my goodness, I got talking to someone on um, Instagram, this small business that basically install on urban SVRs TV screens. They figured out a way to mount a TV screen on these carbon back seats for SVRs. So I think I'm going to do that. Would you like a TV in a back seat? But then. Sit. You know, then everyone's going to be fighting about sitting in the back, whereas right now everyone fights about sitting in the front. Interesting, interesting. Flat screen TVs, watching Disney movies on the way to school every morning. 
do you do you concur? Well, why don't we have a turn? We can have a turn-based system. My sister does that. Well, no, let's see it always has to sit in the back. But um, Eduardo, um, so, um, when, the movie, when the TV comes in, right. Eduardo sits, then I, Eduardo, me, Boom. Eduardo, Or you me. could three sit there, and I told you, you could sit three in the back. Yeah, but he will not, he'll probably just play games on there, and then hmm. so, so maybe I should just not get the TVs? No, but then if I, if I watch with Lessie, she'll probably watch the Spanish stuff. <laughs> This is a this is a Lassia <laughs> in a star seat. She can't. Are you doing a car tour, buddy? Ah, uh, yes. And this is a new car. It's not black, actually. Well, it was, yeah, when we originally got it years ago. Look, I can remember. And the back is nice. You ready for a blast off? Yeah. Ah! <laughs> you like it? And we did a blast off. And. Alright, so the process with the old school system, right? It's like a little conveyor belt. So we drove up. I open the doors, Amelia and Eduardo just jump, tuck and roll, remember guys, tuck and roll, yeah, use your backpack for your impact. Hold on to the steering wheel! <laughs> and, uh, and they tuck and roll, and then Alessi climbs to the front, and we drive around the front, and I walk Alessi into her class. Um, it's kind of, it, it, it's different than it used to be, but it's kind of antisocial in a way. It's, it's, it's really fast, and it's kind of, like, the downside is that I, I don't actually know any of Amelia's new friends. Which is kind of sad because normally I would because I'd go up and I'd queue up in Amelia for the classroom and I'd get to know all her new mates. But well, you're going to want you're going to someone's house tomorrow, aren't you? But also Father's Day and Mother's Day. Yeah, Father's Day and Mother's Day breakfasts won't happen either. That's kind of sad. But it's for the greater good. Small sacrifice for the greater good. <laughs> Alright, those two are dropped in. Now we just get this one. What? I get a cry. No! Unless he does this to manipulate me. I get a cry. You're not gonna cry. Are you gonna even look back and wave though? I That's the thing now. You walk in, you don't even look back and wave at me anymore. I do. <laughs> back at a train station. It's been so long since we've been on the train. The 0945 Southern service to London, Victoria. It's cancelled. <laughs> she says it's cancelled at the same tone. You know, she, her tone is always like the same. Here we go. Here we go, guys. Masks on, biohazard suits on. We're ready to do this. We're going trains and undergrounds. It literally has been about six months or something since you've probably gotten a train. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Are we ready? Let's do this together. Let's get COVID together. <laughs> I don't think that matches your coat here. Shirt. Get out of me. Somebody, somebody did say, who was it that said that? About, like, the one good thing about it is that there's way less people. So you always get seats and stuff like that. It'll be interesting to see what the underground's like. You know? Because, yeah, this would probably normally be much busier. Here we are, folks. Back in London town. Oh, it doesn't even look the same. Emptier. It looked empty. I, I, I approve of emptiness. Not so much about pandemicness. Okay? If we could just have it empty without the pandemic, that would be fantastic. Yeah, like there's not even trains here. <laughs> there's always a train there. Anyway, oh, it just definitely feels less volume. Less volume, volumetic. Uh, I'm still honest, I think it'll be so interesting for people in other countries to see. This is what central London looks like at the moment. That is very odd. Normally you're like battling the queues. Oh, you look cool. Let's get your name on it. Z Zunk. Ooh. This is all new. A little uh, 
guidance rules and stuff. What they need to do, right, now that we're all wearing masks and stuff, and Apple need to figure out a way to make your phone unlock. Yeah. It's so annoying when you're, oh, I forgot we could use our watches. I think the watch now, you can just oh. tap a watch, and I don't think you need face recognition. I think it just works automatically. But it's the worst, most annoying thing is when the, 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 the face thing doesn't work and then you gotta put in the code. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> Alright, this is London Victoria, which is always jam packed. Oh, this is crazy that it's like not jam packed at all. Yeah. Empty London. Okay, it's not that empty. There's a couple of people, but essentially, essentially these places, look at this. These places would normally be jam packed with people. Huh? So different, isn't it? Mm. Oh, really? Like, oh, I can't see anything. We're all backlit. Well, that's Piccadilly Circus. Like, that was like the busiest spot in London. And there's literally nobody here. Where's everybody? Guys, this is busy London. There's literally no one on the street. We're the only people in the street in central London. <laughs> this is mad. Mad. Are we supposed to be here? <laughs> right, we're at the studio. We're not allowed to hear, not allowed to hear any music. You put in all these people, they're all from like soaps. Loads. I'll go soaps. Get Thank you. We don't do soaps. <laughs> I'm waiting for the we're, the, we're the online talent. They don't know us, we don't know them. Everything's cool. You know? It's a Christmas song. Mm -hmm. Exciting? Yeah. yeah. Because Christmas, Christmas attire. <laughs> and Anna's, Anna's gonna hold Everybody. it for both of us. Um, obviously, like uh, I, I would sing, but then I'd be, see, I'd be afraid of being too good. That'd be my concern. No, you'll be earlier. No, I'd be too good. You know, and, and I make everyone else feel bad. So I'm like, you know, I'm gonna throw my solo down. Yeah, you'll be, you're gonna put you, put you right up there. You sound like Frank Sinatra. Exactly. I feel bad about that. <laughs> right, here we go. Here we go. There's no. Oh, we can. Is it? Is it? Does it push? Push or pull? Oh, it's just heavy push. Just a heavy push. All right, this is it. Oh, it's Christmassy. This is the moment, and it's and it's gonna be recognised. Oh, there's be some great singers in here, and now, now we've come in here. Yeah, it doesn't help when the other ones. Yeah, yeah. Apparently Frank Sinatra and like other famous people are here. And now we are here. Not sure why? Oh, can't show you the words because you're not allowed to know what song this is. But um, it's coming in December. It's gonna be amazing. Be prepared to hear this incredible. <laughs> so we look, we're basically looking Good, excellent Okay, right, so um, just do this for me Shoo-be-doo-up, up shoo doo up shoo doo up shoo doo up, -up. That, was, that was practically jazz, that <laughs> She carried me I don't know about that doo up shoo doo up Shoo-be-doo-wop, shoo be doo wop Oh, what is it? Shoo-be-doo-wop? Yes, shoo-be-doo-wop, shoo-be-doo-wop, just same time. So sing this note for me. Na-na-na-na. Okay. Na-na-na-na. Na-na-na-na. Good. Shoo-be-doo-wop, shoo be doo wop Shoo-be-doo-wop, shoo be doo wop Pretty good. Shoo-be-doo-wop. Shoo-be-doo-wop. And look at the difference booking a house is probably empty up here. Okay, we just stopped in traffic. That was anticlimactic. Um, Anna has uh, signed a six record deal, six album record deal. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It's gonna be amazing. <laughs> look at this, look at the difference. Well, there's no tours of Buckingham Palace. Look at it, like, look at that. I've never seen the palace empty like that. Look yeah, at that, that there's nobody bad. there. That is mental. 
you um, if you've ever been or you live in London, you know how weird that is. Where there's no um, people in the palace. That's crazy. But that was a fun experience, though. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it was cool. There was lots of people there from like what was it, Carnation Street and Emmerdale and stuff mm -hmm. like that. And there was that X Factor girl. But yeah, it was cool. Um, it was like vocal coach stuff. I don't know if it sounds good. We're recording a music video in a few weeks or something like that. Um, with loads of snow and stuff like that. That sounds fun. Oh yeah, that's Yeah, yeah, but we're going to be able to bring the kiddos as well. Mm -hmm. You know, that's going to be fun. And then I think the song's going to come out uh, in like Christmas time or something like that. I'll let you guys know uh, when it comes out. I'm going to be singing the song. We've literally had the song in our ears for like hours. You know, I can't tell you guys the name of the song. It's a super secret. Super secret. But uh, now we're going to go home. Um, cat kids in school. It's also date night. Back here, this is Right, let's see. How do we have one of these? How are we sitting here with one of these? It, a minute ago it was like a two, and now it's turned into an eight. Oh my goodness, can you imagine? There's another one, there was 18. <gasps> Did you hear the Kardashians have stopped? They called it a day. Now is our chance. Fill the void. Slide in there. <laughs> it's okay for K W K K keeping. K U W, <laughs> whatever it's called. <laughs> anyway, Anna is sick. She has uh, not fared well on her first Corona. day. You know, it's funny. I was saying that. Um, join us. Join us. I was saying that. Um, it's kind of interesting that because the bubble, right? Because we're all in these bubbles and we're all washing our hands and wearing masks and stuff, right? All the basic sickness things, right? We're not going to get. But then. At the same time, the kids need to get all the sicknesses in order to straighten their immune oh, system. Oh, bless you, I got one the first day she went back to school. Exactly, because for the last 15 weeks, she didn't know. Emilia Eduardo obviously have had more uh, immune experiences. Immunity? Yeah, like we've loads of immunities because we're constantly being exposed. But if everybody is like, um, you know, self, like staying away from everything and in the bubbles, yeah, we won't get all the normal little sicknesses that we, we normally get, but then at the same time, that's probably a bad thing because I feel like we need to constantly be getting little micro germs and micro sicknesses in order to straighten ourselves up. You know, like frontline workers are like superhuman because they're constantly being affected by, you know, um, things. So they're, our parents of like, like usually in normal circumstances, mm. we would probably... When we first dropped Amelia to nursery for the first time ever, we were sick for like six months. Mm -hmm. She brought home every single thing that we had not gotten since leaving university because we weren't around yeah. a lot of people. And then, and now that Alessia's starting it, I'm hoping that we've already had, although it looks like you've got it. I think I'll be fine, honestly, after I drink this. Mm. It's just like... It's like a head. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You could be worn out, like, you know, there's a lot of sickness no, no, and you're a solo and everything, you know? It was loud. No, but I just, I felt it this morning. Oh, well then, yeah. First offense? I think it's beyond that, to be uh, It's like a head cold. That's what it mm, feels like. I seem to have been alright. Maybe it's the yoga. I feel like so many people are going to say it's coronavirus. Well, it could be coronavirus, so, but I, I'm pretty sure it, it, I it, think says, it would be coffee. It takes though. two weeks. So we got the train like four hours ago. So I think you're alright. Exactly. It's, it's two-week incubation sure time. Alessia's cold that she brought back a few days Pedro's ago. cold. <laughs> I saw this at uh, TikTok. Oh. And it was Pedro's cop. And it was like, the dad, and he was sitting there like ignoring it. And it was like, when a Peppa Pig episode comes on that you haven't seen. He was like, whoa. And I was like, yeah, because recently they started mm -hmm. remaking them. And all of a sudden there's new. And I was like, whoa, 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 hold on a second. I thought I'd seen them all. And you're like, oh. Still, yeah, they best one. When she whistled. Peppa, there's the whistle. It's my favorite. And this conversation right now. <laughs> okay, yeah. we're gonna get some mad take out food. When you're feeling sick, that's really all you need is some <laughs> blabbering fool on your A shoulder. blabbering fool? Alessia, am I a blabbering fool? Yeah. No. <laughs> Savage. Guys, look what has arrived. Everything we need for Jonathan and Anna after dark. Uh, we've got these DT headphones. Um, uh, the sound engineer guy Jack told me to buy everything. I don't know what any of this stuff is. A sure thingy. He said this is like industry. Oh, it's legendary. Oh, it's bloody legendary. Well, oh, that's bloody legend. Some mic stands. Um, another series thing. I think this is the mixing desk or something like that. A couple of cables. But yeah, 
podcast in a box, except it's not actually a podcast. <laughs> it's a podcast making thingies, but we're actually not making a podcast. We're actually making a vlog cast that'll sound like a podcast because that's the thing as well. I think by making the videos members, I think you'll be able to download the videos so you can like download them and play them and listen to them like podcasts, but also you can watch them if you want to watch them and listen to them, something like that. It's, it's, it's a work in progress, okay? But the first process of the members thing is all set up now. Um, it's gone through, uh, He's gotten through all the stages that it needs to do, so hopefully we're gonna be able to launch that soon and get this up and going, and uh, we can start our uh, our special after dark show show. Boop, boop. Oh my goodness! Thankfully, I don't have to get out of the car because I'm actually wearing <laughs> I'm actually wearing my pajamas <laughs> and this bomber jacket on top. But yeah, I'm in my pajamas. <laughs> Look at me. I just do not feel well today. Uh, so I have on this jacket that I wore today and it has my name on it. <laughs> so I wore it all day in the um, studio and they were like, oh well, at least we know your name. <laughs> I got it from Benefit at um, when we were in San Francisco and um, it has a big Benefit logo thing on the back. It's really cool, but I have never worn it because I never really had like a reason to wear it. And then today was meant to be like, well, I thought it was like 1950s, like rockabilly style. Maybe I got that wrong because nobody else was wearing that style. Um, but that's why I wore it. So yeah, hopefully our food is ready. I got a spicy takes, spicy red Thai curry. Yes, red Thai curry, because it's slightly spicy. I feel like spicy food right now is probably... That was quick. Oh, I just ran in and cooked it. <laughs> nice. Nice. I think it's hot. Yeah, it's really hot. Last day as a seven-year-old. Last day as a seven-year-old. Last day as a the song goes. How are you feeling though? Last day is a seven year old. You know tomorrow I don't even know if we're going to fit in this bathroom. That's because you were up all night in excitement. Up all night the feeling man day. Keep it calm. So tomorrow when you come into this bathroom I wonder will you hit your head on this wall. You know? Because you're going to be so tall tomorrow. Wow, you got trying to come in the Oh, oh, next year I won't be able to fit in here. Because Amelia said that every year, how you know how much you're going to grow is you go up in your tippy toes, that's how much you're going to grow. Imagine you never stop growing. Imagine like people who are like 17, 18 were like giants. You look kind of tall in the bathroom. I've got some news, Amelia. Your daddy is not tall. I'm not a tall person. I know to you I seem like it, but it's okay. But um, to me, I, th I thought at first, like if you're really old, you get really high when you actually get really small. Yeah, you, you go up and then you start shrinking back down again. You become a baby again. I'm a baby. <laughs> come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Come on. Shut up. Get into the back. Shut up. Let's see. Are we gonna play fetch with the doggies? Let's go. Let's get their, their ball. Push it toy, Theo. Push it toy. Oh, ready, 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 ready. Fetch it! Woo! Good boy, Theo. Say good boy. You don't wanna play, Cena? Oh, you're my little angel. Okay, give it to mommy. Give it to mommy. <laughs> Did you say give it to daddy? Oh my god. Say. Yeah, ready, ready, say fetch. Yay, good boy, Andrea. High five. It's a bit high, isn't it? Okay, this is gonna sound super random, but I found a recipe on TikTok. <laughs> I've never done this before, I've never 
like found a recipe on TikTok and made it before. Um, in fact, I didn't even know that recipes on TikTok really existed, but I found this whole account. It's called Fit, Fit Waffle, I think is the name. And it's this girl, she just does the most amazing decadent recipes. But anyway, this one just came up on my recommended or like on my um, For You page. And I saved it off because I was like, I am making this. And I bought ingredients and everything. So we're making, oh, so good. These are Lotus Biscuit, um, like no bake bars. And this is just melted butter, some icing sugar, and some crushed up Lotus Biscuits. And I'm just mixing them together and kind of crushing them up, the ones that didn't. I did use like a blender um, to crush them, but some of them didn't get crushed. So I'm just, I can't really do this one handed, but I'm gonna, this is gonna be our, our base. And then you top it with white chocolate and then some more, um, some melted Biscoff spread and put it in the fridge for an hour and that's it. And I am so excited to have this. All right, it's a couple of hours later. Eduardo, what do you think of the bars? The Biscoff bars? What do you think of them? Very good. You like them? Yeah? yeah? 10 out of 10? Let's see. No, 20. Oh, wow. They are good, 20 out of 10. They weren't as um, heavy as you said they were. Yeah. That may have been because I also licked the bowl. So, that probably added to my feeling of sickness. You licked the bowl? Yeah, I did. By myself. Huh? <laughs> That's what I do. <laughs> but yeah, so they kind of did not work out as they were supposed to. So it's supposed to be white chocolate. It turned into a crumble. <laughs> the white chocolate, I don't know what happened, but when it was melting, it started burning. My makeup's all like wiped off my face, by the way, because I was crying because I had to chop three on onions for this recipe, not the Biscoff one, um, for my pasta recipe. And I was just in like floods of tears. Anyhow, um, yeah, it didn't melt properly. It started like burning and like, not curdling, but like just turning into a crumble. So I don't know what I did wrong, but I tried to melt it like three different ways and it didn't work. Are you okay? Yeah. Are you okay? Yeah. Are you sure? Oh my goodness. You're being so nice to me now. Love you. Pardon? Oh, you fell down? Yeah. I'm sorry. Theo's bandana. Yeah. You want to put it back on him? <laughs> anyway, but either way, even with the white, it still tastes like white chocolate. It just tastes like crumb. It, 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 the texture is like crumb. Where is he? Aww. Yeah. I made um, pasta with ricotta cheese and um, onions and bacon for dinner. There's some leftovers, so I'm gonna put it in here, but I'm just feeding the doggies. Hi, everybody. Hi, Hi everyone. Back. We just filmed our eight year update. So technically, if, if you just click, so if you if you just watch the update and then you just click onto this video, you'll be like, you listen to this somewhere. I know, it's crazy. It's crazy how that happens. And we just watched a couple of old ones. We don't have a four year update, Amelia. Yeah. We've got everything Maybe else. You can be what happened four. in year four? Maybe I could pretend I'm four years old. Ow. <laughs> and then I could just be like, ah! No, I think it's because I had um, Alessia. Mm. I think because I just had Alessia, and that's when it was just like so. I found three so hard going from two to three kids. Like, right two was easy because you and Eduardo were easy peasy babies. Alessia was. Why don't you take the, antidote? <laughs> the what? The antidote. What's the antidote? Where, where you don't have babies anymore. Why well, I want you to have babies though. Why would I do that? Well, I want you to have a baby, another baby girl. Aww. And Elizabeth. No, okay. <laughs> anyway. after the queen of this <laughs> You're so random. Right, so we just filmed the eight year update. Crazy that we've been doing it since Cleo. she was like born. Pardon? Cleo. <laughs> Cleopatra. <laughs> All right, go down and have your lunch. It's late.
<laughs> you have your lunch now. <laughs> this hair. Hi. 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 <laughs> so Jonathan's filming a TikTok. And Dre Dre came in here to find me. I was just getting some work done. You went you went in Daddy's new car? Yeah. Did you? Yeah. Emilia and Eduardo went in Daddy's new car? Seatbelt. Seatbelt. When you see Emilia go like that, you're just be like, What's that? Ready? Hmm? Yeah. Emilia, 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 Oh, thank you, Dre. Are you fixing my rug? Thank you, that looks so much better. <gasps> You're touching me. Well. Pardon? Oi, leave that there, mister. You guys stay here. Leave that there. And that's the end of the video. Do, 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 do. I've had uh, my second class of yoga. Namaste. Hello. And can Find I just chakra. say, so Jonathan's in a class with all women, right? Which he's okay with, like absolutely fine. <laughs> His yoga mat. <laughs> oh yeah. I got, um, I'm doing this uh, panel in a week or two. <laughs> His yoga mat is a rainbow. And he was like, when, every time I roll it, I out, it's like a rainbow and I'm like, Hmm. The girls are all like. Is this oh. making a statement? <laughs> and then it was, and and part of yoga, the fast stuff. The one today was actually really interesting. It was almost like dance. Like it was all these moves where you have to like flow and do the flow, and it kept speeding up. And then I was saying to the girl after, was like, oh yeah, I used to be dancing, so like I I can really pick this stuff up. And I'm like, I'm adding to the story Eduardo's here. Eduardo's dad. Eduardo's dad. Yeah, but it just proves that like. Because you were talking to my mom today. I know, and, and she, she was said, saying that because I was telling her about Eduardo, and she was saying that yeah, for Jonathan's birthday parties he would always only want to invite girls and she like when he was little <laughs> and she was like why don't you want to invite any boys and he's like well because i only like the girls yeah. and that's exactly eduardo yeah. so this just proves that you shouldn't actually judge because that doesn't necessarily mean somebody's sexuality is nope. either way that's you know a different thing but it was just so funny because he didn't buy the yoga mat like the yoga mat was sent to him but just the fact that it's, it's a, a rainbow, rainbow. I'm, like, <laughs> I'm not i'm not gonna score any of these girls <laughs> I don't keep my options open, yeah? I'm like a young stud. I don't care. If you're perceived as gay, I don't mind. Oh, well. It doesn't affect me. Hey, we started watching the um, second season of Big Little Lies. Oh, did they um, Big Little Lies. Because the first one was amazing, and then we heard bad. The second one wasn't oh, the I book. Didn't. No, the first one was a book, and the you second one was like. No, because the first one was a book, and the book was completed and over and dead end. You know, but, but then like they, they were like, it was so good. HBO were like, I think it's HBO. They were like, they wanted to make another one. So they made another one and I wasn't sure because sometimes when you deviate from the book, like Game of Thrones was amazing till it passed out the books. And you can tell when they passed out the books because it started to go, wah, 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 you know? So, but it's actually quite good. It would be like ha if Harry Potter kept going. Yeah, exactly. Without the, yeah. I exactly. Definitely. It's kind of like, if it, you need the author, you need the person who came up with the thing. Because the story, it's more complex. You can tell this is not a book. You can tell it's a TV show. Oh, I thought you were talking about Sigourney Jones. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, the book. The Sigourney Jones yeah, book. <laughs> Based on a book. Uh, anyway, thanks for watching the video, guys. Hope you enjoyed it. Hope you have a good uh, few days. Our next video, guys, is going to be Amelia's eighth birthday. Crazy. Crazy, guys. How is Amelia She's eight years old? Eight. If you watch Amelia being born. She's eight already. What you mean she's eight, right? Okay. Oh, yeah. She turned eight in April. She did. No, but if you watched Amelia being born, Sorry. all right, you've been watching our videos for eight years. And Amelia's birthday is almost like the anniversary because a lot of people found us back when we first had Amelia, you know, and that's when a lot of people started to kind of follow us. It's, it's like true. if you've been watching since then, that means you've been watching us for eight years. It's your anniversary. It's all our anniversaries. Hi. Hi. She's so weird. Hi. <laughs> she's like, I'm very uncomfortable. But yeah, she wanted me to pick her up. She's yeah. just like, so like... Thank you for picking me up. I'm having a great time. Yeah, that's what she's like.
<laughs> right. Thanks for watching the video, guys. See you guys for the birthday party. Oh, it's not the birthday party. Birthday oh. party the day after. And don't forget to check out tomorrow. Mm. Amelia's eight-year update is going up on my channel. Exactly. And so as fun. Amelia said earlier on, it was like, what'd she say? She was like, oh, we watch this now. And then you switch over. So, and then you watch the other thing. She couldn't believe. And then she was like, have another baby called Elizabeth. What are you talking about? The clip I just put in. Where you were telling them that you just filmed a year and an update. And then immediately was like, have another baby called Elizabeth. I don't remember this at all. Oh, maybe it wasn't you. Maybe it was your twin. I, yeah. Because Anna Anna's actually a twin all these years. That was my stand-in. You stand in, yeah. Obviously, this isn't based on a book anymore. Exactly. Namaste. Yeah. <laughs> Goodbye. Bye. Bye.